Hi everybody, this is Mr. Nolan and what I would like to do with you in this video is to show you uh, the variety of ways that you can submit an assignment on Schoology. Some of you have expressed a bit of confusion about this and I think that's probably because there's a wide variety uh, of ways to do this. So I want to show you how to submit assignments to me on Schoology. Uh, an assignment is uh, any task in which you do some learning and then you send me a response. <clears throat> And that response, I am able to write on it, I can give you feedback, and I can send that back to you through Schoology. Um, before I show you that, I want to point out a, a handful of, uh, of things, a few requests that I have for you. Um, one of them, uh, the, the main request, I, I, I really appreciate how some of you have been uh, sending me uh, assignments through alternate methods such as email and remind. Uh, that's great. Um, however, I'm going to ask that you do that only as a last resort. I really, really prefer that you use Schoology to submit assignments because otherwise uh, they're coming in from all different directions and it's very easy for me to lose track of your submission. Schoology makes submitting assignments extremely easy. It's pretty much idiot proof. So I just want to show you how to do this um, and just to, to try to keep me sane only use Schoology if you can. If you are having trouble, reach out to me. Um, maybe you can send it to me on by remind or, or email, but I'd really prefer that you just use Schoology. So let me show you how you do that. So uh, here's what you would see from a student account. Um, and so if we jump down to you know any given assignment, let's maybe jump down to, uh, let's go to assignment one. And so if I, if I click on assignment one, all right, here's the assignment. Um, and uh, so, you know, just to remind you, uh, I'm giving you a bunch of, uh, of reminders. What I'm showing you in this video, I'm, I'm showing you right here how, you know, I'm kind of explaining some things that you can, can do. Um, but, uh, so here's, here's our, our learning task where you're reading something. Here's some pictures. There's a couple of videos. Uh, here you're analyzing data with a table and a graph and some, you know, uh, questions and answers. Um, so this is, this is the assignment. This is like the learning task. Uh, and there's a few ways that you can interact with this. One thing that you can do is you can go ahead and copy this copy and then paste it into a Word document. Just go to Word and click on New. And there we go. And you can just go ahead and paste that right into a Word document. Um, some depending on how many images there are it might take a moment but here we go so I've gone ahead and copied and pasted that into a Word document and now you can actually type your answers into the different uh, into the different lines. So this is one way that you can actually obtain the assignment so that you can work on it. Another way that you can obtain the document uh, is if you run all the way down to the bottom of the assignment, what I'm trying to be really good about is uh, attaching a Word document to the assignment. So you can click on that and it will open up the Word document and you can type directly into the Word document. You can write your answers in that document. Um, that means you're going to have to save this to your device and then you're going to have to open it up and then save it as you work um, because, uh, you know, of course you want to save save your answers and save your work. Um, the other thing that you could do is you could uh, download that document and uh, and print it. Uh, and so, me personally, I prefer to write with uh, with pen and paper. Uh, and so, for instance, this student um, did this for this assignment. Uh, she actually printed it out in paper, um, and she answered. Here, she drew. She was able to draw on her graph. She answered right, and she did a great job on this assignment, by the way. Um, and uh, what's nice about this is that if you are the kind of person that prefers to have it in front of you and, and write on it and draw on it, then this is probably an advantage to you. I know about seventy-five percent of you have printers, so if you would like to print it, you may feel free to print it. And once you've printed it with your answers on it, uh, or I'm sorry, once you have, have printed it and then written your answers on it, you can maybe scan it into a printer or you can even take photographs of it and you can send those to me on Schoology and I'll show you right now how to do that. So let's say that you, uh, that you printed out, uh, your document and you wrote on it and you did the assignment and you want to submit it to me. Um, let me show you a few different ways to submit that assignment. So if you look in the upper right here, you'll need to see this little button that says Submit Assignment, and you'll see three little tabs once you do this. If you click Upload, here's how Upload works. What Upload means is that you have actually saved your completed assignment in your device somewhere. It's either scanned as a, a, a PDF or as a, a, a image document or as a Word file or some kind of file. You've saved your work on your computer. You go here to this little box that says File, click on it, Go find your file, which of course you've named appropriately. So I have some files from students here. Click open and it will attach there and then just click submit. If you want to add any comments so that I, I see something, if you want to make some notes to me, you can type those in. Uh, you know, you can just type in your, your comments here. 
So this will take any file. It will take image files, it will take PDFs, it will take Word, it will take all sorts of different files. So just don't, don't be afraid to experiment. The worst thing that can happen is that you attach a file and I can't see it, in which case I will let you know. I'll say, hey, this didn't work, try it again. So this is one way to do it. If you, if you save your file in any way, shape, or form on your computer, you should be able to upload it using this little file button and clicking Submit. Uh, failing that, if you didn't want to do that, you can actually create, you can hand type your responses in here, this little tab that says create. Um, and uh, if you do that, you know, that means that you can actually just type your responses in here. And you can number them if you want. You can say, you know, here's my response here, here's my other response. You don't really have to send me back my original document. I really just want to see your responses uh, to two things. Um, once you are satisfied with your responses, you can click Submit, uh, and it, it will go my way, and that way I can give you my feedback. Um, if you're halfway done and you're not quite finished, just click Save Draft, and that will save it uh, on your Schoology account. That way you can come back to it later. Some of you don't like to sit down and finish an assignment all at once. Sometimes you like to kind of pick at it and take little, little pieces at a time. So these are the two main ways that that you guys are probably going to send me these assignments, either uploading a file or clicking on create so that you can type it in. Um, if you are really savvy with Schoology and you actually have uh, a personal uh, a documents file in Schoology, you can maybe make use of that. I'm, I don't really need to talk to you too much about uh, how to do that. I don't think many of you are going to do that. So basically, you know, just click upload, attach your file, or create, and type out your responses. Um, that way I can, uh, I can get to those. Um, something else that you could even do, just kind of while I'm thinking about it, um, suppose that you, you know, here's your document that you've put answers in and you're trying to figure out how to send it to me. Um, what you could potentially even do is uh, if you're having trouble or it's a, if it's in a funny format and it doesn't seem to be uploading, you can even try to take a screenshot of it um, or use the snipping tool. So uh, if you're familiar at all with the snipping tool, um, what you can do is uh, it's, it's this little uh, uh, scissors here and you can kind of kind of take like a screenshot here, copy that, uh, and then save it as a, a certain image file. And then you can jump over here, and again, you can submit it as a file, right? And then you just have to go find the file in, in your documents. So uh, that's, you know, if, if all else fails and you can't figure out how to get the, the document to upload, you can actually try to just take a screenshot of it and send it to me, and that should that should probably work. So um, I hope that this was uh, um, at, at least a little bit helpful to kind of clear some of the confusion for how to submit an assignment on Schoology.